Michelina Van Loda from the Labyrinth, Finding My Way Out. It's a blog where I blog about having chronic illnesses of various natures, mold illness and chemical sensitivity. I thought I wanted to be an activist for people who suffer from illnesses related to chemical sensitivity and I still do because I have to fight for justice. However, after being forced to go vegan via my health, my digestive system or digest meat, um, pig's flesh, I could, I could eat, but I couldn't eat it, but I could digest it, but like, when I eat with the proteins and stuff, I've been giving these, um, enzymes, pancreatic enzymes, which are made from pig's stomach, because allegedly, apparently so, their stomach is similar to ours, um, so science says, and I believe science might be right, however, if I had to take enzymes from pig's stomach to digest food, I think I better start eating different foods, like plants maybe? Anyway, this post is about Angora, Angora fur from rabbits. Um, I've been struggling, I haven't gone vegan because I love clothes and I found three quarters of my shoes made from someone's skin. I mean, it could be dog skin. Um, it could be anyone's skin. Bit of a Hannibal Lecter factor in there. Anyway, so, Belly, come here, come on here, Papa. This post is about a jumper. So I'm being one of my bunny rabbits inside. If you want to see my videos, I'll link to them below. My beautiful bunnies, Minxie and Tyrion. This is Bella. Hello, Bella. Hello, Bella. Hello, yes. The coffee. It's my baby. She's a boxer. In Australia, we don't pin their ears. We don't chop their tails off. She's got this lump on her. And she gets happy and she wags it. She bangs it, bangs it till it's like all lumpy. We just use a hip. Oh, I do what you want. Equal rights in our house. Anyway, I don't want to edit this video, so I'll get to the point. This is my favourite jumper. Tangle it up here, but it's her hood back. It's like bat wing. I love bat wing. Um, because it's like a layer you can put it on in summer. It's summer here in Melbourne, Australia now. And you can put this on when it's kind of like a bit chilly, but not that chilly. And you get lots of air underneath. You start doing some yoga. Flip it off. <sighs> We're sitting in bed, just take it off. That's my life, yoga. <laughs> yoga bed. Anyway, so the point of the video is my favorite jumper. Um, I saw on plant based news about three and a half months ago a video about rabbits and the fur being. Pulled out while they're still alive, Angora rabbits. 
so then I did some research and went online and found the article on from from the Guardian. Um, a link to that down below as well. However, I, uh, I might write an article and reference that. I'm not sure yet. But this video will be part of that anyway. Whatever happens, this video will be part of that. As soon as I read that article, I went through all my clothes, um, the low clothes. I had to throw everything out when I first got chemical sensitive 12 years ago because I used to wear a lot of fragrance. So I threw just about everything out from photos, clothes. Um, I went and bought about 10 sets of clothes and all my clothes for about two years and I learned, <laughs> I learned that I actually didn't need clothes. Um, but I've been buying a lot of them since I moved back to the city in 2010, 2009, I thought I'd covered. I started shopping, doing everything normal again. And this is one of the types I bought on a shopping spree. But anyway, after I, I saw Claus, told us about the rabbits, and then I researched for myself, and I was like, he wasn't shooting us. That's true. And fuck, I go through all my clothes soft wool clothes, acrylic mixes. It's like, is there any Angora? Is there any Angora? And the whole time I'm thinking, yeah, but there's wool. I'm like, yeah, okay, we'll deal with that later. I'm kind of like put it in this other compartment. I was obsessed with finding some Angora and I couldn't find any. And then tonight I put this jumper on. And I was touching, I was thinking, God, it's so soft so nice, beautiful, especially just, you want some comfort, you want to put something nice and soft on your beautiful on your skin, so I'm touching, I'm thinking that, and then I'm thinking, what the fuck, let's look a little deeper, and I bought it at Deja Vu on sale, um, it was about three or four hundred dollars Australian. Uh, it's made from viscose, nylon, and angora. There's no percentages. Um, there should be, there really should be. But uh, it's gross anyway. So these little, the part that makes it soft. See, oh, that's the light there. Can you see the hairs stick out? The fucking rabbit hairs. They plucked them out of the rabbits. Maybe some were like knocked out on drugs, hopefully, but the footage I saw. They were hanging there and they were just like tied up in like a bondage situation. And the hair was being ripped from them and they were screaming in agony. I was like, how do I feel? I feel, as soon as I realized, like even before I read the tag, I knew it because this was the one jumper I hadn't checked. And there might be more actually. But that's another blog. So there you go. I make myself want to fucking puke. It's like I've woken up. I'm 46 years old. Instead of going accidental vegan at 44 or 45, I was like, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely an accidental vegan. It's just what I do, you know. Um, or my stomach hurts and I have bad indigestion. And it's just really, really gross. But to carry this guilt after awakening and being sick and feeling like corporations make 
products, governments allow chemicals and fragrance irritants into products like Lynx. It's called Lynx in Australia, it's called Axe over in the US, products like that. If I go in a classroom and someone's got that on, I'll be sick for days. I don't know what would happen now. I've been living like a fucking hermit for since October 2015. Sorry, October. Since October 2014. Yeah. Angora. Don't buy it.